four o'clock, I'll call the licensing hearing and public safety committee meeting to order. For those that are present, would you please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. Everyone is present, it seems like. So we have quorum. Um, is there a motion to approve the minutes from November 25th? Motion to approve the minutes. Second. There's been a motion by Ryan, Dean. Ryan, could you speak up a little bit? Uh, there, I'm having some trouble hearing. Yep, there's been a motion by Dean, a second by Barb. Any further discussion on the minutes? Seeing none, all those in favor, please state aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Chair votes aye. The minutes are approved. Okay. Um, item number 3.1, General Ordinance number 26, 2021, in Ordinance Amending Section 118, 276, and 118, 279 of the Municipal Code relating to unlicensed vehicles. Who wants to take this one? Chuck or Thomas? Thomas. Okay. So uh, a little bit of background on this one. Uh, this this ordinance dates back to a a situation we were dealing with, where a property owner uh, decided that uh, disassembling cars in his driveway was an appropriate thing to do, uh, which you know is, is problematic on on several levels. But one of the things that this particular uh, property owner was doing is they were staging all of the cars that were going to be disassembled in the neighborhood without um, without license plates on them. And the way the abandoned uh, vehicle ordinance is currently written, it really is focused on vehicles that we have no expectation are going to move. The, the, uh, the inoperable, the disassembled, sort of the, the proverbial uh, vehicle on the front lawn up on blocks. And uh, at the same time, we define an unlicensed vehicle as one that's abandoned. But as, as I think we all know, unlicensed vehicles can and do uh, sometimes drive around. And whether that's unlicensed because you didn't uh, didn't update your plates, uh, didn't have the, the correct tag on, or just simply are driving around without a uh, without a license plate. So uh, this. Uh, this particular ordinance, we've worked with the with the police department to try to craft something uh, that they think would be would be useful and functional on their end. And what we're what we're recommending is a tweak to the abandoned vehicle ordinance that does a couple of things. Uh, first, it defines unlicensed vehicles, and it defines an unlicensed vehicle as one. Let me make sure I get my uh, my definition right. Um, as one that either doesn't have, uh, doesn't have a valid registration plate, or uh, its registration plate is expired by more than 31 days. So we're, we're not dealing with someone who forgot by a day to get their, their plates renewed. That, that's not what we're, what we're dealing with. Um, so we've got a, a definition of unlicensed vehicle. And then we also provide that once you are uh, deemed an abandoned vehicle because you are an unlicensed vehicle, essentially that designation sticks with you um, until, the, until the issue is remedied. That's your notice. That's your opportunity to protest. Um, and then if the vehicle is found on any, um, on any public street, so if it's parked in the right of way, uh, it would be eligible to be towed without an additional notice going out, without an additional 72 hours uh, for someone to remedy it. Um, so the idea is the sort of the game of whack-a-mole sometimes gets played with these these types of vehicles uh, hopefully can get sort of short-circuited where everyone's still getting notice. Um, you know, due process is obviously uh, very, very important uh, and was was a, a key part of how we how we structured this this revision. Um, but in the case of a vehicle that may well move, you're getting that notice once. You're still getting notice every time your vehicle is towed, uh, but making it very, very clear up front that if your vehicle is towed because it's unlicensed, you keep that abandoned vehicle designation until you get your vehicle licensed, which is ultimately ultimately the goal. Awesome. Any questions from anybody? Mary Lynn? 
Um, so I have a couple of issues. Um, as a former traffic prosecutor, um, I know that, uh, at least in the jurisdictions that I represented, the police would typically not issue a citation for an, uh, an expired license plate until it was at least three or four months, sometimes six months out of date. And the reason for that is um, people move, mail is not forwarded. I had a number of cases where parties were divorced and you know there was a lack of communication. Um, sometimes uh, people get a notice and they simply forget. Um, So I think 31 days, and then of course there's the delays from from DMV. Typically, you know, if you submit at the very last minute, typically you'll get you know your plates or your renewal rather relatively quickly, um, uh, but not necessarily. Um, so uh, Thomas, walk me through. Um, uh, we were in the process of moving and the uh, notice that I got from the DMV to renew my license got lost. Um, and it's now been more than 31 days. And I have the car parked either on the street or in my driveway. What happens under the abandoned view? Just walk me through how you envision the process. Yeah, so there, there's sort of the, the absolute letter of the law, and I think there's there's the intent behind it. And the, the intent behind this is to provide a very specific tool um, for sort of the, the, the whack-a-mole type situation where you've got this, this recurring situation. Um, the idea isn't to try to start towing people because the mail gets lost and you've got a, a vehicle um, that's, that's at 31, 31 days as just sort of a, a matter of course. Um, I know, based on my conversations with the police department, and this, this isn't a, a step uh, written into the ordinance, but one of the things that they've talked about is, you know, it's, it's crucial for any number of reasons to really try to make contact with the person before we get to this point, um, to, to speak with, you know, try to make contact with the, the property owner, with the vehicle owner, um, and, and to identify, you know, what, what's going on here. Um, you know, to, to issue the abandoned vehicle uh, citation, I see that the chief is uh, has turned on his camera. I'm not sure if he's going to uh, going to add something. You know, in, in general, this isn't the the first move. It's not congratulations, you're at 31 days. Here's a here's an abandoned vehicle ticket. We're going to tow your car. Um, the the idea was to provide a definition and to provide a definition that was something other than you are one day late. You know, I, I think the, the way the way it's written now, I think it, it would provide that if you're one day late, that's an, an unlicensed vehicle. Yeah, I think I mean I that is the way it reads. Uh, as, as currently written, and and I don't think I don't think that's how it's. Uh, I, I don't think that's the, the desired uh, result. I, I see what you're trying to do, and it makes complete sense. Um, how many of these scoff laws do we have? that are moving vehicles around. And I get, I have gotten at least two, in my eight years I've gotten two calls from constituents who are really upset, understandably with these junk cars, you know, hanging out in driveways and things like that. So I'm not hostile to what you're, yeah. what you're trying to do. I'm just, um, you know, we can always talk about, you know, it's not the intent, but you know, what's written is written. And, um, I'm just wondering, can we like do cheap 45 days? You know? Yeah. I don't know. Maybe it'll be fine. Yeah. Well, let's oh. look at the data and show how many situations have happened where a citizen didn't renew their plate and their car was towed because of that. So essentially the situation that, that you're proposing here, if you have complaints or you can demonstrate that we've done that, that, that would be one case, but that hasn't happened and we don't tow cars that way. Um, what we're talking about is a situation where I would say it, there's probably five that I can think of off the top of my head, maybe as yeah. many as 10 in the city, but that's it, um, where it's continuous playing games with us and them using the law as it's written really to take advantage of it, and it's causing great distress in neighborhoods and causing many calls to us. And so we go through all of the steps that are in the ordinance sending them their letters and arranging for toes 
and right before the tow comes, then they move the car across the street. And now we start all over again. Mm -hmm. And the neighbors are saying, why are you allowing this to happen? Why do you keep doing this? This is ridiculous. No, I get it. I, 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 I mean, I, we understand. Um, and, and so from that perspective, you know, I think if, if this is a workaround, then we should do it. I'm just saying that in the years that I did this, one of the <laughs> one of the most frequent tickets that or forfeitures that are that are issued, at least in the jurisdictions I worked in, was expired registration. And I mean, it happens. It would happen if I had ten free trials. You know, four would be unregistered. You know, uh, unreg or uh, uh, failure to register or register a vehicle. And um, so. I, it, we're, I, and, I, and I understand totally what you're saying, but the point that I'm trying to make is what we're talking about here is towing abandoned vehicles. Right. And so car, cars that are just not registered because somebody hasn't responded quickly, the problem would get fixed way before we got to the point where we're towing. Okay, sounds good. Dean, you had yep. a thought? Uh, I just want to throw in a few comments. This, I guess, I, I'm one of the persons that pushed for this ordinance because of it, it did happen in the, in the Indiana, Indiana corridor. Uh, it also happened in the King Park area. They had some some issues down there. Um, what we I mean, we we had the, the gentleman that that was the onus for this um, would uh, actually there were cars with flat tires literally sitting on the street. Mm -hmm. He would move them uh, and then. The process would have to start all over again, uh, you know. And, and as long as the you know and the police couldn't sit on this car, these cars, and watch them all day, so the guy would just wait until the opportune time, move the car. Now the clock has to start all over again, and uh, it it is frustrating when you, especially when these cars are the way they are. They're, they're, you know, there's no license plates on them, or the license plates don't even belong on the car. Um, they're they're generally were, were were not registered to people even in Sheboygan. They were you know, what what happens is, is the, these just gentlemen would buy cars. He never um, would transfer the title or anything like that. He would keep them under under their previous uh, title hold, uh, title holder's name, and they would just be sitting all over. And they would actually be parked two three blocks away from his his residence just to kind of avoid all this. You know, try to try to um, avoid all this. Yeah. And he kept moving them around, so um, that's where this comes from, I guess. Uh, so I, uh, this, I, I'm hoping that you guys will support this. Yeah, and if I could just speak to, and I, I do appreciate Dean's kind of work on this too. And a lot of the the members of the Kings Park Neighborhood Association that I've talked to, we've had some issues in our neighborhood, um, you know, with folks kind of running their own little chop shops in their neighborhood too. So I, I'm supportive of this for sure. Um, and I hope that this does give us the teeth to kind of um, really address some of the problems that we're facing in, in our neighborhood associations. Yeah. So I guess, are there any more questions? And Ryan, this may just be me, but I'm still having trouble hearing you. Sorry, I'm, I'm leaning too far away from the mic today. I'll get a little closer here, Mary Lynn, for you. Um, are there any other thoughts or <laughs> any other? Thank you, Ryan. There's no worries. <laughs> I appreciate it. Any, any other? Mother Feldy here, six straight. <laughs> I know, sit up. <laughs> um, any other thoughts or comments or motions? Uh, I make motion to approve. Second. There's been a motion by Dean, second by Mary Lynn. Any other thoughts or discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor, please state aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Chair votes aye. That will be forwarded on to the council. Awesome. 3.2 RO number 98 2021. Submitting various license applications for the period ending June 30th, 2022. Beverage operating license application number 3394, 3406, and a change of permits application 3381 for Meyer. City Attorney? Yes, so uh, we are recommending, first of all, that you uh, grant the application of Stephanie Kane. We reviewed that one and decided that that should be re uh, re uh, re uh, granted. Uh, we are. Um, we'll, we'll do. We'll go separately on the other ones. I think that's probably the best way to handle it. So, first, a motion to approve Stephanie Kane. Motion to approve Stephanie Kane's license application. Second. 
It's been a motion and second. Any further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Anyone opposed to your votes? Aye. Next one. Okay, and then on um, Amber Ernst, uh, I assume she is not in the uh, in the crowd. She is not in the crowd. No. Okay. So uh, we are recommending uh, denial uh, of this license. We did uh, send her a letter indicating that if she wished to have a hearing, uh, she could do so. Uh, she did not respond to us and it appears she has not appeared today as well. So on that basis, you can uh, simply uh, deny based on her record of uh, violations uh, uh, relevant to the licensed activity uh, uh, at this point. So that would be our recommendation. I'll move. Second. There's been second. a motion and second to deny Amber's license. Any further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor, please state aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Chair votes aye. Then on uh, the Meyer store, um, uh, Julie did follow up with them, um, told them what was needed, and they got about half of what was needed to her. So we're still recommending holding. We're working with them to try to get it done. Um, okay. But uh, hopefully next time. So that's a motion to hold. Motion to hold? Motion to hold. Second. Motion and second. Any further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor of holding, please state aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Chair votes aye. That one's held. Okay, moving along. 3.3 .3, RO number 106, 2021. Submitting various license applications for the period ending December 31st, 2021, June 30th, 2022. Beverage operating license number 3413, uh, 30, or 2848, 1509, 3326. Okay, so. Um we're, I'm going to divide this in two, uh, just because that uh, seems to be the best way to do it. Uh, we are recommending granting the uh, application of Christopher uh, Bernier and Jody Gordon for a taxi cab driver's license. It's the motion to approve those ones. A motion. Second. Motion by Barb, second, second by Dean. <laughs> um, any further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor, please state aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Chair votes aye. And then we are also recommending granting the applications of Leroy Ortega for a beverage operator license and William Rohr for a taxi cab driver's license. But both of those should come with warnings. Uh, Ortega is because of a history of violations related to the license activity, which were of concern, but staff felt were sufficiently attenuated in time to warrant granting and Ruhr because of a recent crash in his taxi cab. Uh, it was also never reported to the clerk's office uh, by the cab company as required. So those would be grants with warning. Motion to grant with warnings? Motion to grant with the warnings. Is there a second? second? Motion by Dean, second by Mary Lynn. Any further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor of granting with the warnings, please state aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Chair votes aye. 3.4, RO number 132021, taxi cab license renewal application 3023, excuse me. Yep, this one is for yellow cab. We're recommending granting this one with a warning. This was the company that uh, Mr. Rue worked for, and it, it was their duty to report uh, any accident that causes any amount of damage, even if it's simply aesthetic, that's in our code. They didn't do it, uh, and uh, uh, we actually were going to hold it, but uh, uh, we did get in touch with them, and they did finally report it, uh, and uh, so we are recommending granting with a warning. Motion, is there a motion to grant with a warning? Motion to grant with a warning. Is there a second? Second. Motion by Dean, second by Mary Lynn. Any further discussion? All those in favor of granting with a warning, please state aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Chair votes aye. All right, 3.5, R number 114, 2021, taxi cab business license application number 3215. 
This is Two Guys Taxi Service. We're recommending granting this license. Is there a motion to grant? Motion to grant. Is there a second? Second. Motion by Dean, second by Mary Lynn. Any further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor of granting this license, please state aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Chair votes aye. That is approved. All right, 3.6. RO number 112. 2021 submitting various license applications for the period ending December 31st, 2021 and June 30th, 2022. So, two things in the right order on this agenda. They go from hardest to easiest as we go. This one is very simple. We're recommending granting all the licenses. All right. Is there a motion, Make to a motion to grant? Okay, Barb's got that one. Is there a second? Second. Second by Betty. Any further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor of granting the remaining licenses, please state aye. 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 Any, aye. Anyone opposed? Chair votes aye. That's approved. Next meeting, December 30th. Seeing that we've exhausted the agenda, is there such motion to adjourn? Motion to adjourn. Is there a second? Motion to adjourn. Is there a second? Second. Okay, second by Barb. Okay. All those in favor of adjourning, please state aye. 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 Anyone aye. opposed? Chair votes aye. We are adjourned at 421. Thank you, everybody. Thank <laughs> you.